What's up, fight fans? AJ Knows Boxing here. And before I say anything, happy Memorial Day to all of the, you know, the veterans out there, the boxing lovers, people, the girls, the bitches, the, the niggas, the, the hoes, all that shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. Happy Memorial Day. Hope y'all turning up. Hope y'all chop barbecues. And I know y'all going to get back to this shit a little bit later. Y'all going to get back to the, to, the, to the fight game a little bit later. And I'm going to make sure I drop this video. First and foremost, this Friday... Amir Khan versus Chris, the White Hope Algeria. Yes, I said it. He ain't the professor. He's the White Hope. Because I don't understand how Chris Algeri has gotten two mega fights with two top ten guys in the 147-pound division. He got uh, Ruslan Pravonikov. Some people felt like he won. Some people felt like he lost. I'm just going to say it like this. If the motherfucker could stay 12 rounds with a champ at 140, get his ass knocked down, still box well enough to find a way to win, I'm going to give that boy his credit. He did what he had to do against the Russian that fucking eats meat and drinks milk. That's, that's Ruslan Pravonikov. He eats meat, he drinks milk, and that's it. He trains. The kid is kind of fucking crazy. And then that got him a chance against Manny Depardran, Emmanuel Depardran Pacquiao. And we already seen what happened. The motherfucker got his feathers caught in the cage, and he couldn't get the fuck out. Got his feathers literally caught in the cage, got knocked down six times. I thought he had a chance. The boxing motherfucking, the people on HBO made it seem like he got a chance. And HBO let us down again because they tried to hype him up. They tried to make him seem like he was he was the next best thing. And he got fucking beat. Got beat by Manny Pacquiao in the worst way possible. Six knockdowns. Looked totally discombobulated against the top echelon at 147. And now, some way, somehow, he found his way to Amir King Khan. And I've been on the side bashing Amir Khan for trying to get the Floyd Mayweather fight. I've been on the team that called, that's called him delusional. But in this fight, Amir Khan might get the ticket. Everybody's booked up. And I feel like Amir Khan is just going to use this to get to Floyd. Now, when you talk about Amir Khan, we already seen everything he has to bring to the table. The boy is lightning quick. The boy is a great boxer, um, Olympic silver medalist. The boy has been champ, has been the champ at lighter weights. But I gotta give him some, you know. I gotta, I gotta go at him because he's ducked certain fighters. I feel like he's ducked Timothy Bradley. I f feel like he's ducked Kell Brook, and I understand why he's done that. For some reason, Amir Khan. Wants to fight Floyd. He feels like he can beat Floyd Mayweather. And for that, you know, we'll see that. September, we'll see that. But right now, I feel like Amir Khan stands no chance. He has some good qualities. He has the speed. He has the youth on his side. But he doesn't have everything that it's going to take to beat Floyd. But let's get back to Chris Algeri and Amir Khan. Chris Algeri has no chance, stands no chance against Amir Khan. Chris Algeri's best attributes in the ring is his movement, is his ability to land that right hand, like we've seen in the Manny Pacquiao fight, but he packs no punch. The boy got, I don't know how many KOs, probably got like six KOs, six to ten KOs. I'm not, I'm not a computer, I can't, you know, I can't compute this shit right now, but he has no power. He has no power in his punches, and he sounds fucking crazy when he talks about, oh, I hurt everybody I hurt everybody that I've gotten in the ring with. I did not see Emmanuel Taylor hurt versus Chris Algieri. I'll go back to that fight. I didn't see Manny Pacquiao hurt versus Chris Algieri. I damn sure didn't see Ruslan Pravonikov hurt versus Chris Algieri. I, I haven't seen none of these guys Hurt versus Chris Algeri. Yet, Chris Algeri hurts everybody steps in the ring too. And this is the shit that I mean with these fighters being delusional. Amir Khan is going to put his motherfucking hands. 
And I repeat, Amir Khan will be putting his motherfucking hands on Chris Algieri. With Virgil Hunter in Amir Khan's corner, Amir Khan has catapulted himself to from just being a good fighter, like a, a C-plus fighter, to, in my opinion, a, a, a solid B fighter. He put his hands on Devin Alexander. He fucked up Luis Colazzo, dropped him. And I feel like Chris Algieri is going to get dropped this fight. Chris Algieri is going to get made. He's going to be, he's going to look like a fool in front of his hometown audience. And I will be in attendance. I'm going down to the motherfucking, I'm going down to the media workout. So I'm going to be, I'm going to see Chris Algieri. And I would love to tell him this in person. Like, Chris, you have no business being in there with, with Amir Khan, man. Amir Khan is going to hurt you. We all seen how what Amir Khan did to that fucking water bottle, beat that bitch up in midair. What the fuck you think he gonna do to Chris Algieri's chin? Chris Algieri's best bet is if he lands a clean right hand on Amir Khan's chin. And by the way, I see Amir Khan going with Virgil Hunter. That shit ain't gonna happen. Virgil has brought life back into fighters like Amir Khan, brought life back into fighters like, um, who's my, my boy Andre Berto? He's giving these guys uh, the things that they've been missing. And honestly, if, if Amir Khan can lose to a Breedis Prescott and get fumbled by a Danny Garcia, and we're seeing how Danny Garcia is looking, has looked at his past couple fights ever since Mauricio Herrera, we already know. Chris Algieri's best bet? Is to try to go for the knockout. And if he don't go for the knockout, which I don't think he couldn't do. I don't think he, he's deliberately going to step in the motherfucking ring trying to get the knockout. Because he ain't a knockout puncher. Ain't no way. Ain't no way in under the fucking God's, green, uh, God's blue sky that this boy is going to beat Amir Khan. Amir Khan is going to use this. He's going to beat the shit out of Chris Algieri. And he's going to use the hype that, that, that Chris Algieri brings. The white privilege that Chris Algieri brings to catapult him to levels that Mayweather is going to say, you know what? I'm going to get his kid an opportunity. And when that fight gets announced, because it will get announced, there's no other fucking, there's no other reasonable possibility out there right now, if that fight gets announced, I'm going to be the first motherfucker here giving you my opinions on that shit. Like, honest to, honest to God, like, I would love to see that fight. Now, that fight, that shit going to wake me up. That shit might make me go out to motherfucking Vegas, spend the motherfucking money, try to fuck some money, team bitches, just so I could be a part of Mayweather's last fight in a fight that's really competitive, man. Because that's the only reason people tuned into that Mike Donna fight that second time. Because the first one's competitive. And I feel like Amir Khan got some tools to make it. To make it look real competitive in there, man. Barring any chinny problems and shit like that. Because we already know the kid is made with a glass made with a glass chin. He got some good covering. He got that motherfucking, he got that protection around it now with Virgil. Virgil taught him how to protect that chin. But... He still got a chin problem. So with that being said, man, I got Amir Khan putting an ass whooping. I am predicting an ass whooping against Chris Algieri, Chris the Professor, Chris Feather still stuck in the cage, whatever the fuck you want to call him. Chris Algieri. Chris Algieri need to go finish that motherfucking school. Get the fuck about his parents' house because you're a fucking millionaire. You ain't no regular ass motherfucker. You need to stop driving that Honda Accord, that 1990 whatever the fuck, 2001 Honda Accord. Get the new model and figure your life out. Because boxing... It ain't for Chris Algieri, you know? He, he could survive on ESPN. He could survive in the ballroom. But boxing at this level, you're going to need to to stay the fuck away from this level. Because you're going to get embarrassed. And you're going to get embarrassed in Brooklyn. Because I feel like Amir Khan is using this shit. He only got one motherfucking chance. And he going to make sure this motherfucking fight is just a fucking showcase. It's going to be him shadow boxing. It's, it's going to be him motherfucking hitting that bottle. You understand what I'm saying? And he's going to fucking make himself look good. And his fucking fans, his one million followers, are going to put pressure on Floyd. 
And Floyd is going to make a decision. His pops already said he wants him to take an easy fight. They think Amir Khan's an easy fight? If they think so, who the fuck am I to say that it ain't a fucking easy fight? Floyd Sr. said it's easy? All right, fuck it. But you already know who I am. AJ Knows Boxing. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for all boxing-related news, post-fight coverage, any fucking thing that goes down in the fucking boxing world, man. Like I said before, my tights will get, smoke, get caught smoking crack. I'm going to put it on a channel. Adrian Broner, bitch, and the fucking another boxing nigga, I'm going to put it on a channel. Shout out to um Miss Louie Bax, beautiful woman. Beautiful family, Adrian Brother. But, um, yeah, so any boxing-related news, I'm going to make sure it's on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. It's AJ Knows Boxing, and I'm out.